Hello everyone, um, this is the Sivart. I just wanted to show you guys the newest release from GameMaker. It is GameMaker HTML5. Um, it is in beta right now, it just came out a couple days ago into beta, and I was able to buy it for $80. But um, that is because I signed up beforehand, so if you go right now, you can buy it for $100 which is really good because when it finally releases it'll be two hundred dollars so buy it now to get it on half price but anyway this is GameMaker HTML5 it is not replacing GameMaker 8.1 Pro it is merely another version of GameMaker altogether so you can have both of them which I currently do I have both GameMaker versions mainly because uh, the old game maker still has more power but this one is awesome because it can play in your web browser as HTML so it's pretty awesome I must say I'm not too happy with the color scheme they chose I mean honestly orange but anyway it it's very similar to the other game maker uh, the old game maker rather um, everything most everything works um, but 3d unfortunately as of yet is not out but on their website they do indicate that they are working on it and will come eventually like in the final release they should have 3d working for websites which would be pretty cool um yeah so let's just check out the sprite, sprite editor here seems to be working as normal um but yeah the, the definitely coolest thing is that it does export as HTML and executables, so you can still make executables executables with this thing, which is pretty awesome. So let's see, circle here, that works pretty well. Uh, I don't know, randomized here, that's kind of weird looking, but oh well. And then centerize it, object. So okay, that's weird. S glitch. I already typed in the name but it doesn't apply unless I hit OK which is kind of glitchy it, it still is in beta so it's very glitchy I think this is the actually third update they have I think third anyway let's just have random object here our sprite I had noticed it hasn't updated the name yet until I hit OK reopen it there we go now it's updated the name so let's just look at the script editor here. Oops. Step event script. There we go. So it's it's still fairly similar. Let's see. Goals. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry, guys. Mm hmm. There we go. So this is fairly simple. I just create a room and I stick that object in room. Okay. So that's how it works. Now, an interesting way is how it saves its project files. It doesn't save it as just one file. It saves it as a whole bunch of files. Let me see if I can quickly show you guys that there we go so this is the GMX um, folder this is where it actually saves everything so it's got icon it has the actual game maker file which is actually pretty small it has a whole thing a uh, folder for sprites so we have a player dot sprite and then actual images so w what this really helps you to do is uh, much better for team projects say because this allows you to have uh, a person just editing one single part and then instead of them having to save their entire game file and then send it to you before you can do anything with it right because if you edit it and they edit it then it, it doesn't work very well anyway this allows them to just maybe they say throw in one object and then all you have to do is reload your game file and it should be right in there and it works perfectly so it's it, it is just really handy for team projects so yeah that's an interesting thing in the save file. So anyway, let's see how this game works. Now there are two modes up here, as we can see: HTML5 and Windows. So if I run it in Windows mode, it runs it just as normal 
as you, I don't know you would normally see. We got here this little guy moving around on my mouse, and it's in the window mode as normal game maker. But if I switch over to HTML5 and play, then it compiles it down here in this window, which it's kind of buggy this window, but it does work. And then it opens it in the web browser. And as we can see, we are currently in Internet Explorer, and I can still see that the game works perfectly. The little guy follows my mouse, and everything's pretty awesome. Now, it still is, of course, a little buggy. Uh, I've been playing around with it quite a bit. Yeah, there there are bugs, but it is still in early beta, so it's pretty amazing how well it does work, <laughs> to be quite honest. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy GameMaker HTML5. It's pretty awesome. Now, remember, this isn't... You don't have to play it in Internet Explorer. I just like to because I find it faster than Firefox, but you can really play it in anything you want to. Uh, it'll default choose your default browser, but you can specify which one you want. But anyway, I definitely recommend buying it. It is a great addition to your programming tool collection. Whatever. It's pretty awesome, and as soon as 3D comes out, I will love it. I will, yeah. It'll be awesome. So, see you guys soon.